Hey, good Friday evening, everybody. You've made it to the weekend. It's Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. This is the Friday evening webcast. Let's take a peek at what's happening outside. We've got Saturday market starting tomorrow. Uh, Duck softball in town. Big matchup against number one team of the country, UCLA, this weekend. And also Beavs at home against Stanford. Both those first games happening tonight, tomorrow. Uh, let's take a peek at what we've got. So to the models we go. And here's what we've got outside right now. A uh, little bit of precipitation still trying to fly in through here. I'll jump in a little closer on the Storm Tracker and Live Radar Sweep and show you what we've got. A couple of spotty showers offshore moving around Lincoln County. And then also some moving their way up into uh, parts of the Cascade uh, foothills out towards Lane County. And uh, very end of the sweep here. You can see right around Gene Springfield, a couple of light showers moving through. That's about it, though. And I don't think we'll see a whole lot for overnight tonight. Keep the temperatures generally in the mid-40s and mostly cloudy skies, a couple of light showers with that. So for the most part, uh, this is kind of what it'll look like for the Stormcast over the next 48 hours. I'm going to roll things down through about 1030 in the morning. You can see most of the uh, shower activity is still offshore and stay mostly cloudy, but then we'll start to see that batch move on through mainly as we go into Saturday afternoon overnight into Sunday morning. By Sunday morning into the early afternoon hours, that wraps up pretty quickly. We should get back to, I'd say, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies by the afternoon. Now, if you're going to head out and do some uh, skiing tomorrow, remember Willamette Pass is closed for the season. Hoodoo and Bachelor, Bachelor having a big spring festival, uh, will be open. Should see temperatures in the upper 30s and maybe about one to three inches of snow. 70 forecast for the coast will look like this. We'll see the temperatures warming up nicely with a ridge of high pressure by Monday and Tuesday. Otherwise, some uh, afternoon spotty showers both tomorrow and early on Sunday. The Umpqua, look at that, low 60s tomorrow with a few isolated showers and then quick jump into the mid to upper 70s Monday, Tuesday, and then slowly backing off but staying relatively dry through the seven-day forecast. Cascade, same thing, low 40s and a few snow showers tomorrow. Then it's right around 60 degrees for Monday. And in the Willamette Valley, will be around 57 tomorrow, Sunday 63, and then into the low 70s for both Monday and Tuesday. There's a slight chance we could get a couple of passing showers, Central Valley, late Tuesday night, early Wednesday, but I think for the most part, we've got a fairly quiet forecast overall throughout the next six to seven days. If you want to check out the full forecast, you can head on over to the weather page. And uh, that'll give you the idea of not only that, but uh, also what we'll be experiencing as we go in through the evening hours tonight. In addition, forecast discussion is up, and I'll be back at KZI 9 News tonight at 11. I'll give you the latest model information and when we can kind of pinpoint the timing of that rain for Saturday. So otherwise, have yourselves a great weekend, a good Friday night, and thanks again for logging on to KZI.com.